Hey, what's up? This is Ryan Hoover with Fit to Fight, and this is your Fit to Fight fix. Not the cap. So, so you may have noticed, Ken's a little bigger than I am. This no position, like, I can't, right? I can't get my head where I need it to be. And I'm not, I'm not spending a lot of time on this emphasis right now, but if he puts his head here, he's winning, okay? Because I might have his arm, but he's got the position, he's got the angle. So I need my head position to be in there. So I'm giving up a lot of size here. When I get to my Russian time, my Russian arm, what I'm gonna try to do is make him carry all my weight on this one arm. So I'm changing my level to bring him to me, and then I can put my head there. And again, that would be hard, bang, I would hit him. Now I'm gonna push, I'm gonna get him heavy on that side so I can take this one and then snap him to the floor. These aren't big moves. I'm not doing like a big reap or sweep or anything like that. Walking away. I don't want to stand. I don't want to stand on one leg while I've got somebody that big's weight on me. So I'm, I'm, I'm just little touch here. Boom. It's gonna be hard. It's a fight. I, 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 I fucked up and let him get hands on me. Okay. I, I didn't, I didn't recognize what was happening. I didn't preempt. I didn't hit him first and take off running because that's what I would do. Okay. He got hands on first. Shit happens. I can't just be like, oh, well, fuck, he's bigger and stronger. What am I going to do now? So if you're smaller, if you tend to be the smaller person, you have to be really fucking good. You have to be better. If you tend to be the bigger person, be good first, be big second. Because there's always that bigger dude out there. All right? So have your, even if you're big and strong, have your skills elevate, and then you'll always still be big and strong. That's still going to be there. If you tend to be smaller, you got to be fucking... Perfect's not realistic, but that should be the mindset, the mentality. Because he, Ken can do things 60% wrong, probably, and still be okay. <laughs> if, I, if I do things 10% wrong, I'm probably going to get fucked up. Okay? So, it, it's, it's important that we're honest. I, I don't know how many people are instructors and how many people teach, like, hand-to-hand -hand stuff. But it's really important that you're honest with your students. It's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be tough. If you're giving up a lot of size and strength, that shit fucking matters. All attributes matter. Somebody's faster, that matters. If they're tougher, that matters. But being strong, somebody's bigger and stronger. They're bigger and stronger. Nobody ever got into a, an altercation, into a fight, and then after was like, man, you know what? I was just too strong. <laughs> you know? Nobody, that, in the history of humans, is that, that's never happened. Nobody's like, I was just in too good a shape. I was too fit. I spent too much time in the gym. Nobody's ever done that. Nobody's ever said that. After violent encounters, even where you win, you look back and think about all the shit that you did wrong that didn't go the way that you wanted it to go. Because that's what violence is. Okay? So the amount of time that you put into shit like this is, is the variable that you actually control. You can't control the time of day somebody cho chooses to, to attack you. You can't control how big and strong they are, how many people are with them, if they're armed, if they're not armed, if you got people with you or not, how you're feeling that day. You don't get to control any of that shit. The thing you control is the amount of time that you put into dealing with that shit. That's it. And Kevin and I were talking about this yesterday. If I can't control what's going on inside of me, my emotions, my anger, that kind of stuff, there's no fucking way I can control external stuff and external people. Okay? So look, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a lot of like small wrestling moves at you. And, and these are things that, like if you went to a wrestling practice, you would do them for 30 minutes over and over and over again. The one, just one thing, arm drags, 30 minutes, arm drags, 30 minutes, arm drags, 30 minutes. If you ever see wrestlers train, it's ridiculous. Like they're, they're not normal humans that, you know. Um, so don't get frustrated with these things. There's a lot of things that are inherent in here, the push-pull energies especially, that you just can't manufacture in a 90 minute session okay um so don't don't get too caught up in well my foot should be here this that whatever it it, it takes a lot of time all right hope you enjoyed that fix and welcome to the fit to fight republic